has been a minute, hasn't it? It has been months since I last uploaded a YouTube video and I kind of wanted to do some big welcome back video where I'm like, oh my God, hey, it's been a while. It's so nice to talk to you. How are you? How's your summer going? How does my nose job look? But just like everything else in my life, I flopped at that. So welcome to my coming back video. It's nothing special but it's something. I am very, very, very excited for the new Sims pack that's coming out. If you haven't seen it already, you need to check it out, bitch. But I thought I'd go ahead and make some new Sims today, especially for this new pack. I want to go ahead and make some Mean Girls because what the hell is a high school without bitches and drama? Ugh, my wig is way too much. Oh. To be completely honest with you guys, I have always been obsessed with Mean Girls, which is actually really weird because I was never really bullied during school, but I was extremely slut shamed. And to this day, it's still my weakness. But ever since I was a little baby watching Mean Girls, I was always obsessed with the blonde bimbos covered in pink, having the shadiest comebacks, the hottest boyfriends, and the most daddy issues. So I guess we did have a little bit in common. But yes, today I went ahead and I created some Mean Girls for my high school in The Sims 4. And the theme that I wanted to do is literally just, they have to be blonde no matter what, and they have to be in pink. But other than that, I was like, they can really look like anything as long as they have like a little bit of like mean streak and like bitchiness in them. Cause let's be real, who the fuck wants to watch a boring character? No ma'am. I think this new pack will finally get me back into The Sims 4, which bitch, fucking finally, I have been so burnt out on board of this game for like two years. We needed something fresh. Okay, so expect a full on let's play, lots of chaos, lots of drama, and maybe it'll get me out of my flop era. Who knows? In case you guys are wondering what was going on with my life, I am terrible. I binge watched all of the Stranger Things series though, and that made my life like 2% better. I'm extremely Stranger Things obsessed right now. I know all the lore. I started fucking reading about D&D so that I can figure out what the hell Vecna is going to do in season number five. And not to brag, but the actress that plays Chrissy followed me on Twitter and she's a fucking queen. So Stranger Things has basically been my life. Um, do I have a boyfriend yet? No. Do I have more friends? Kind of. I don't know. It's been kind of a quiet year for me, but I guess that's kind of what happens when your mental health fucking collapses. Seriously though, the biggest advice that I can give to anyone is if you feel that burn up starting to build up and you kind of feel like you're not yourself anymore and you're super tired all the time, you feel like you don't really have a sense of humor and you're always agitated, take a fucking break or else you're just going to crash and burn and feel terrible and... I'm now back on Prozac, which has been lovely. I can't fall asleep for more than five hours. I am always hungry, but at least my boobs got real big. Right? No, 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 thoughties. I did not get a boob job. If I did, I totally would have vlogged it and clickbaited it. But it's actually been a really long time since I've been in high school. I know. I look so young and youthful, and I totally don't need Botox yet. Right? You know, sometimes I really do wonder what it's like in high school nowadays. Is it really how TikTok makes it out to be? Because sometimes I'll like scroll through TikToks and like read comments and it really makes it seem like school is just rainbows and butterfly right now. Like nobody's bullying. Body positivity is a huge thing. People are open about their mental health and it seems like just a way better place than when I went to high school and older boys literally used to follow me home, honk at me, call me a slut and their dads would also encourage them to get their dick sucked by me when they were literally 45-year-old disgusting pigs. <laughs> and bitches wonder why I fucking left. But when I was in high school, my favorite subject was skipping. If there was one thing that I was good at in school, starting from kindergarten, it was faking sick and finding a reason to fucking leave. I never liked school, okay? Literally from the start of kindergarten, when I got yelled at for talking too much, I knew that I didn't fucking like the place. I don't know if I just never really vibed with my teachers or it was a me problem, but I always fucking got in trouble. I was always too loud. I was always asking too many questions, not asking enough questions, doing too much, doing too little. And I always kind of felt like my teachers were sort of like jealous of me, if that makes sense. I feel like a lot of them just did not like me from the start and they would have done everything possible to just make my life awful. And then the highlight was definitely getting dress coded, starting from the sixth grade. Yeah, I was literally 12 years old, just playing with Xbox all day, had no boys on my mind, anything like that. But as soon as the weather got a little bit hot and I wore a top like this and some shorts, I was going straight to the office and getting sent home. So then I got smart and started doing that shit on purpose. I was like, wow, you guys are gonna use this misogynistic ass system to punish me for developing quicker than the other girls? Yes, I will go home then. 
Let me wear these short shorts every single day, no problem. So I didn't really learn anything from the books in school, but all these experiences really taught me how to be a fucking insane bitch. But my idea for my Sims 4 high school let's play is basically I want to start out by making a bunch of like cliques, cliques, I don't even know how you say it. But basically we're gonna have like the mean girls, the jocks, we're gonna have some nerds, some gamers. And then I kind of want my let's play to be surrounded around opposite twins because I feel like it'll be really fun. It reminds me of The Sims 2 when we had Angela and Lilith. I don't remember that bitch's name. Angela and insert name here, Pleasant. And they were complete opposites. And I always loved that when I was playing The Sims. You have one Sim that's super like preppy and popular and this and that. And the other one is smoking by the green box and skipping school. So that's sort of my idea for this Let's Play. I think it'll be really, really fun. And hopefully there's a lot of content in this pack, but it seems like it's really, really good. I didn't do a reaction. I didn't do a reaction for that video because I just felt like it would be kind of weird to be like, hey guys, I'm back. Here's a reaction to this video. I'm not even gonna talk to you guys. I'm just gonna talk about the video, you know? But if you guys did miss me, I'm sorry for abandoning you. I really do love you all and genuinely appreciate a lot. And I genuinely appreciate you guys so much. You guys truly changed my life. I wasn't really gone. I was just streaming on Twitch every single day for like eight hours. If you guys follow me there, twitch.tv forward slash Carmen, you will never miss me again. Yeah, I think that's all that I want to say right now and today. I hope you guys liked me rambling about random shit that literally made no sense. And I hope you guys think that my Sims are really, really cute. Let me know which ones you think were the best down below. I wanted them all to be super, super pretty, but you know, their personality is what makes them ugly. Make sure you keep an eye out for my next video. And when this pack comes out, I'm gonna be playing it nonstop. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so, so, so much again. And goodbye, thotties.